हॅलो ऑल आय एम दीपाली शेंडे अँड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज रेशो कंट्रोल नाव दिस रेशो कंट्रोल स्कीम इज अ स्पेशल टाईप ऑफ फिड फिड फॉर्वर्ड कंट्रोल ओनली सो हिअर इन दिस वी यूज टू मेंटेन द रेशो ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर सिस्टम ओके सो हिअर यू कॅन से यू कॅन से इन रेशो कंट्रोल स्कीम uh disturbances are measured and held in a constant ratio okay so there uh, there are two disturbances two flow or two um you can say two liquids uh two solids the ratio of these uh, two disturbances or loads are measured over year and it held a constant ratio to each other so there are mostly uh two control flow, flow rates or two streams are there we used to call it a wild stream or controllable stream so what is mean by wild stream and what is mean by controllable stream so here uh, wild stream means the streams whose flow rate can be measured but cannot be controlled is called the wild stream or master stream also this is the one uh, more name to it uh wild stream or master uh, stream you used to call and uh, control stream means the other flow which can be measured and controlled is called the control stream or control flow we can say so here we used to maintain the ratio of these two flows okay so the ratio controller manipulates the control flow to maintain the desired ratio between the two flows okay so here this is the ratio control scheme this is the one scheme where you can see there is a disturbance stream and the manipulated streams there are two streams over there and we we used to maintain the ratio by using this ratio controller <coughs> so here a uh, ratio set point we are given to the system this is the disturbance stream or manipulated stream this is also called the wild stream as it here you can see two flows are there flow transmitters are placed on that flow lines okay control wall is placed on the controllable flow line over here so here uh we are maintaining the ratio by manipulating these manipulated stream or by uh, by manipulating this flow okay by using the control wall so this stream is called the wild stream and this stream or this flow is called the controllable stream over here so these two flows are get measured there is one divider over here so it gets divided ratio gets form over here and where it gives to the ratio controller where it compares this output and the ratio set point and this output of this ratio controller gives to the control wall so according to uh, this output whichever we are uh, getting from here this control wall will increase or decrease the flow to maintain the ratio okay so this is the simple working uh, in scheme 1 ratio control scheme 1 so this is the another scheme over here ratio control scheme 2 the same uh, disturbance variable manipulated stream is there and there is set point over there so re from ratio station we are giving the set point to the flow controller okay in first scheme we were given to the ratio controller this set point was given to the ratio controller and this controller compared this output of the divider and this set point and gives to the control wall but in second scheme what happens flow meter will measure the flow transmitter this transmit flow give to the ratio station and this set point is given to the flow controller so manipulated stream uh, gets measured by using the another flow meter that is the controllable stream over here and these two gets compared over here okay and this output of the flow controller 
gives to the control wall so according to this output this control wall will vary the flow it will increase or decrease the flow so this is the controllable stream and this is the wild stream in this case so this same example is over here so you can see only controllable stream and wild stream this variables shown over here okay so this is the ratio control scheme 2 now this is the one example of ratio control that is the reactor feed ratio control so this is one reactor who placed over here catalyst is there feed is there okay so catalyst flow is maintained in correct proportion this flow is maintaining over here to feed, uh, the feed flow for correct reactor operation and to get the final product so ratio control automatically provides the correct proportion to the catalyst to feed so two streams gets um, maintain, maintaining the ratio of two streams okay by using two streams over there so the, there are many applications of ratio control just i have listed two three applications over here so this ratio control uh, is used in the distillation column to hold the constant reflux ratio so this is the one application of ratio control another is the uh, control the ratio of two reactants entering in a reactor at a desired value so in a reactor also it gets used and many very uh, good example of ratio control is in boiler fuel to air ratio gets control in a burner to get its optimum value so we used to keep or maintain the ratio of fuel and air in the boiler so these are the few applications but there are many applications of the ratio control so what is the advantages of ratio control it allows user to link two streams to produce and maintain a defined ratio between the streams so this is the one advantage of ratio control this scheme is very simple to use and it does not require very complex model so these are the few advantages now we'll see the disadvantage of ratio control so of uh, normally in the system one of the flow rate is not measured directly and the controller assumes that the flows have the correct ratio through the control of, of only the measured flow rate so this is the one disadvantage also it requires a ratio relationship between variables that needs to be maintained and this controller is not very useful for variables other than the flow rates so these are the few advantages of ratio control